There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, a boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover a past HC exam question on the electrochemistry chapter. This is the actual question, and what I'll do is I'll go over the question itself, I'll read it out, and then I'll give you about five seconds to pause the video itself and then attempt the question. And then when you're ready, just press play and I'll walk you through the answers. So this diagram is actually from your exam, uh, from the past HC exam. Was it, this is what I drew just now, but I drew the exactly the same one that was in your exam as well. So there was, in here we have two different electrodes, silver and lead. We've got AG plus in here, PB plus, two plus in there, a salt bridge connected with a voltage. Um, and it says, A, identify the cathode in this diagram, that's with one mark, and B, write the redox equation for the cell reaction and calculate the cell potential. And to do both A and B, you will need to have your table of standard reduction potential. And I've actually attached it into your video descriptions. So check the video descriptions and that's your link to this table, which you should be using to answer that question. Okay. So I'll give you five seconds to pause the video. And then when you're ready, just press play. And I'll go for the answer itself. Alright, so I'm back. So for this question, identify the cathode in this diagram. What you need to know is you need to know what the cathode is. So cathode was the electrode where reduction occurs. Or in other words, reduction or in other words, gain of electrons. And the anode was oxidation or loss of electrons. So the cathode is the one where we gain electrons. So now either silver or lead gains electron. We don't know that yet, we have to figure that out. And the way we figure that out is for figuring out which one is the more active metal. So the, less, the more active metal is where oxidation occurs. And we want to find out which one is the less active. The less active is the cathode. And how we do that is we look at that table. So we have Ag, so silver and lead and we compare them. So we've got PB right here, and this is, this is our standard reduction potential. So this is how likely they are to gain electrons. This one is negative, so it's not that likely to gain electrons, especially compared to silver, which is somewhere around here. So silver is here, it's positive, which means silver is much more likely to gain electrons than lead. So silver, AG, is our cathode because cathodes gain electrons. And we just looked at how likely they were to gain electrons and silver was positive whereas lead was negative. So we our A part, silver is the cathode and silver gains electrons from lead. Sure, you write that, identify the cathode in this diagram. So write that or what you can just do as well is you can label that as well. So it doesn't say label but it's more or less the same thing. So you can just write silver is our cathode. And obviously, again, you don't have labels because it's not asking you for it, but lead would be our anode. So electrons flow from lead to silver. And now it's asking, write the redox equation for the cell reaction and calculate the cell potential. So there's two parts to this one. That's why it's worth two marks. We get one mark for each part. First, we have to write the redox equation, which just means we have to write what, what exactly is happening. And then we have to calculate the cell potential. So what I've done here, Actually, I will remove this so I can show you how to do this as well. I'll make it faster. We have to figure out which one loses electrons and which one gains electrons. We said that before already. We know the lead is the anode and the silver is the cathode. So lead is where oxidation occurs or where the loss of electrons occurs. So PB, PB, goes into, and we know the anode, the ion form is Pb2+, plus, so it goes into Pb2+, plus. so it's been oxidized, or its, or its oxidation number has been increased, which also means it also has lost two electrons, so these, that's why it's 2+, plus, because it's lost these two electrons. All right, so this is first part of our half equation, then we have to figure out what happens with silver. Now silver 
we said that one of these, these electrons go over to silver and silver gains these electrons. Silver is being reduced, so silver is at the cathode. So silver, you have Ag plus, and they pick up one electron to go from Ag plus into Ag just solid silver. But what we have to still consider is we have to balance it. We have to make sure it's balanced. So the overall equation needs to have, because here we've given away two electrons, but we've only picked up one electron in the cathode. So to make that balanced, we're going to make sure we give away two electrons, but also pick up two electrons. And the way we can do that is by just putting a two in front of silver, and the two in front of these electrons, and two in front of this silver here. So now we have two electrons being given away, and two electrons being picked up. So now it's all balanced. But that's the first, that's the half equation. These are the half equations. So half equation one and half equation two. But we're asked to write the overall redox equation, which is the overall equation. So then we, all we have to do is we don't have, we can ignore these electrons. We don't have to write those electrons. We just write the rest of it. So always start with your cathode. So just write 2Ag plus. And that, so 2Ag plus plus our lead goes into 2P2 plus plus 2Ag in its solid form. So here we have our iron, our silver iron, and it gained electrons. So it took these electrons from its lead. Now lead has lost electrons and silver has picked up electrons. So that was our redox equation. So I've gotten one mark for this because we've done the first part correct. Let's get off two marks. So the other part is to calculate the cell potential. And remember the way we do that is we have to look at that table again. Now this is the equation. This is one you have to remember. Cell potential is the reduction potential plus the oxidation potential. So for the reduction potential, that's the one which is our cathode. So that's a cathode. It's the one that's been reduced. And all we have to do is we have to look at the table. So I've gotten the value here, 0 0.8 volts. But I'll show you how to get that as well. If you look at the table, go to silver, which is right here. And because it's being reduced, and this is a reduction potential table, all you have to do is take that value straight off and put it down. So 0 0.8 for this. And then we have to figure out what the oxidation potential is. Now this, in this case, this is from the table. If you look at the table, we get this value. right? So we get this whole thing. I'll show you where that is again. It is right, right here. So PB2 plus plus two electrons goes into PB solid. So this is where if you have a lead which actually picks up electrons and becomes solid lead. But the thing for this is, in this case, lead is not actually giving electrons. It's, it's giving electrons, not taking electrons. So what we looked at is this here. It's taking electrons. But in actual fact, it's giving electrons. So we have to swap that number. So it's minus 0 0.13. We have to reverse that sign here to make a plus because it's oxidation. So we've used a reduction table, but we want oxidation. So what we do is for that number, for this one, we just flip the, the sign. So instead of writing minus 0 0.13, we write 0 0.13 plus volts. And then we add it all together and our overall voltage is 0 0.96 volts. And that's our second mark for this, because we calculated it. So one mark for this, one mark for this, and one mark for this, and that's three out of three. And where these came from is from this dot point. Solve problems and analyze information to calculate the potential E requirements of a named electrochemical process using tables of standard potential and half equations. So the half equation part came from that one, and the cell potential part calculations also came from this dot point. Whereas the identify the cathode in this diagram just came from the one where we had to um, define the different terms. So hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.